Rich, I hope you can just edit out my coughing today. Oh, yeah. That's not a problem, oh, Rich. I'm sure it is. Can you also Somebody edit out, out the uh, creakle sound of him taking a holes? Wait, here it no, goes. No, I'm going to actually boost that so you can hear more of it. <coughs> oh, 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 mistake. <laughs> <coughs> and welcome to another episode of Even More Mashed Up, the pop culture podcast featuring two professors and Rich talking about all things hey. pop culture. I'm Patrick. Hey, and I am Alan. And today uh, we're going to have a rich show. Yes, it is an abundance of riches. It is. Oh, see, why didn't you go? An abundance of riches is perfect. Oh, because I've had that. I've had that. That was in my notes. Yeah, it's the kind of thing that my just COVID addled brain does not quite wrap itself around at this point, I'm afraid. To to be fair, does your normal addled brain wrap itself around those kind of puns? Oh, I think I've dropped a couple of pretty good puns that you both have hated, but I thought, frankly, were quite good in the last couple of weeks. What you're saying, then, is that my pun just now was a really good pun. Is, is yeah, it was, it was, from my COVID-addled perspective, I think it was a winner. I'll take it. Listen, COVID-addled or not, you know, my, my ego is in that much need of uh, boosting, so. Well, don't we all live with those kinds of egos nowadays? Yeah, some of us do. Yes, very, very bruised, so. Yeah. Well, speaking of um, living without an ego, we are here today. To celebrate our very own Richard Baldwin. Yay, me. Woo, an en- me. An entire hour dedicated, more or less, to Rich. Yes. Because we find ourselves, as a podcast, right, Patrick, at kind of a crossroads of oh sorts. Oh my God, I was just going to say at a crossroads. Well, we've been doing this for a long time together. Do you At want, least two or three days. Yeah. Do you want to describe the crossroad? Yes. Well, you know, as as I'm sure viewers that have been with the show for a while remember, prior don't to have COVID, any viewers, but okay. I'm sorry, listeners. Uh, prior to COVID, well, sometimes watches. We, we used to do the show on campus, and then you know, COVID sort of forced us to to find a way to to do the show remotely, which we've been doing, but. Uh, we're at a point now where we are able to return back to doing the show on campus. Um, unfortunately, well, at that, least some of us are. Well, unfortunately, that means that Rich is not going to be able to be with us quite as frequently as he has been. Because Rich has kind of abandoned Northeastern Pennsylvania for the much more. Northeastern Pennsylvania abandoned me. I thought oh, you almost well... were going to say he abandoned the show, and I'm like, that's harsh. No, no, he, yeah, no, he, like, wow, he abandoned, no, tribute. he abandoned Northeastern <laughs> Pennsylvania the failure that he is <laughs> because he decided for some reason that New Jersey would be a better place to be. Yeah. Oh, what? You mean Long Island? Oh, that's right. You don't live in New Jersey. Oh, no, I need to go check. I never live in New Jersey. I did write, I did write a quiz about Rich that I might need to go adjust, but I can do that on the fly. It's all good. <laughs> I, I do like the idea. <laughs> Long oh, Island, New Jersey. Wow, your brain is really COVID-addled. I didn't even say Long Island, did I? No, you just said New Jersey, but... Yeah. Rich has yeah. mentioned Long Island before on the show, so... I don't think I've been to New Jersey in 10 years. Well, you know what, Patrick? Before you get too cocky about how much you know about Rich... Uh-huh. Let's wait and see for the Richard oh, Baldovin not... quiz, which I have written. I mean, I don't know if I know enough about Rich. Rich, oh, okay. I have. I my goal is to stump Rich with Rich trivia. Wait, wait, where did you get the information? I from? can't say, but I I have spent a good deal of time. Wow, doing some heavy duty research. That's right. But I, it's I, unbelievable, I... like what a a good private detective can can scare up. Do we have a budget for a private detective? Well, I thought this was a special episode, so you know, I assumed um, we um, would find room in the budget. This is a, a this is a special episode, i.e., the last because you've blown the budget. <laughs> well, <laughs> a detective. Yeah. Yes, I yes. mean a private detective. You know, would also be known as a a private dick a and dick. thus a kind of Richard. Exactly. Yes, indeed. Exactly. That is not insulting to me at all. So not the go. last time that we shall talk <laughs> about Richards and dicks. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I really wish you hadn't phrased it that way. You started it. You really did. I did not. Well, maybe I did. You did too. Let's just be clear. Right, exactly. 
you're going to say what you said. Who said dick first? Right. You, you're going to say what you said, and it's just going to be fine. Uh-huh. So, so we should kind of steer our way back, perhaps. You know, because we will be kind of um, heading back, not just to campus, but to the radio station where our old radio show originally yes. back was in the created old days. way back in the good old days. And so that got me thinking about kind of like the best memories of the moments with Rich on the radio show and the podcast. Mm-hmm. Do you have any favorite memories, Patrick, that you might like to lead with today? Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, I've got I've got um, at least two. I can't even okay. name. T- what would those two be, Rich? I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got three that I wrote down. But yes, I was going to say, whenever I bring in a different camera, but that's, but that's, oh, yes, yes, nickname uh, it. yeah. Uh, what, did you mention something about cameras, Rich? I did. I said anytime time I bought in a, a new camera or a different one, and you try to name it. Yes, yep. I believe you're referring to Stoppy, the stop Stoppy. motion camera. Yep, uh, indeed. And and minus the 360 degree camera that you that, could never quite figure that I, out. That I did not understand why it didn't spin. Yes, right. That was yes, that was indeed. that was the first thing I thought of every week. Or why the camera, the stoppy, is not a stop motion camera. Oh, wait, it's not. It is the regular camera that did a time lapse. Stop motion implies that oh, it took one right. photo. I always got stop motion. We had that conversation machine. too a couple of times. Yes. <laughs> As it turns out. I forgot yeah, tech- that part of the conversation. Technology <laughs> has never really been the the strength of the of the Patrick and Allen part of the show. I would say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I worry a great deal for you guys. I forgot going about. Forward. I forgot yeah. about. Sto- yeah, that Stoppy was not a stop stoppy. motion camera. I forgot about that. <laughs> right. Because I do miss Stoppy. Then Stoppy, like he was a solid, solid show member. Yeah, I'm pretty sure and- he won <laughs> awards on the show. Hint, hint. Yes, right, nice. right. More than he's won more awards than some members of the show. Oh, that's true. Uh, that is that's true. a fair point, but not something that we could as rectify. have dead presidents won more awards. That's true than some <laughs> well, yeah, members of the show. It's a fair point, but you know, if you're going to give out a a best Richard award, it felt like Nixon was yeah. the man yeah. at the time. Clearly, yeah, yeah. There were no other better options. No, no, I couldn't really think of any. I mean, that's a broad category. Right. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, yeah, so so yeah, the cameras were were one of the memories I I came up with. Alan, did you did you have a particular? Well, one of my most treasured memories is whenever Rich would take us on a tour of his historical understanding of Hollywood and television. Oh, which yes, I didn't believe really. I have, I have a memory oh. related to that too. Oh yeah, it never really got past like two thousand and two. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think the right. anything past the nineties, he was not great about. Right. If you wanted to feel I really mean, old, just ask Rich to name like an actor from the '90s, and it just like, ah, uh, I mean, just radio silence every time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just nothing, Reeves. Nothing. That, hey, that's pretty good. But I mean, that's, you that's, only that's, know that's, him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he did act in the '90s. Yes. All right then. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it would be really uh, helpful to Rich if there was like a '90s Renaissance. Of, of actors coming back because then they would just be, you know, contemporary right. for, for a moment. Right. Exactly. Uh, Charlie Chaplin. Yes. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, the, eight, the eight, <laughs> 1890s, maybe. Yeah, what's your, what's, <laughs> what's your favorite Chaplin film, Rich? Oh. Uh-huh. It's funny. I actually know okay. a couple. I don't know the names of them. Uh, I think one's uh-huh. a Vagabond. Oh, Rich. Uh, you know, you, mean, you just... So on TikTok, you Charlie mean, Chaplin has become quite popular because people love do you mean the tramp? showing off. He played the they, tramp. Oh, the tramp. They called tramp. him the well, tramp. I thought there was a sh- yeah. Well, no, no. There was a short one that was like... Uh, like it wasn't a, a, a feature film, but it was like a short, like, five-minute thing. Oh, this brings back was, the... It brings back the good old days. With him with, like... Because I remember they were talking about one time with they showed him, like, skating on, like, a platform. It's like, oh, he almost fell off. And then, like... It shows the technology about how he, you know, made it look like he was on like a edge side of a building yes, or whatever. I've seen, I've seen that. On the, I've seen that TikTok. Yes, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's how I know Charlie Chaplin because he, the he tic- had mini right. resurgence. So again, the because of the only on the TikTok. Yes, I think that's only on the tactics worth noting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, along those same lines, another thinking of of you know, Rich's nigh encyclopedic knowledge of yes. film history. Oh, uh, I think I think I know where you're going on this one. Uh, the other one that that stood out was, of course, 
when he yes. identified or or couldn't identify uh, the director of Citizen Kane. Uh, I believe he well, thought it. I believe he thought it was H. G. Wells. Yes. No, <laughs> that's it's even, right. It's even better. I think he it's H. G. Wells. He just dropped because... a George Orwell. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Uh, yeah. Yep. That was because. Uh, was that I, well, because H. G. Wells was the writer, right? He was the one who had done like the, the writer um, of Citizen Mars Kane. Attacks. No. Nope. No, 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 but he'd done like well, Mars Attacks we, and stuff. Mars, up, Attacks? Yes, Mars Attacks? Did he write a book called Mars Attacks? No, it wasn't that there's, one. There's, there's too many levels no. built in here. No, no, oh. you're, no, H.G. Wells would be like the Invisible Man from yeah, uh, no. like the early 20th century. Not, he, not, but he not did the one Mars that they, they, they remake. What's the Tom Cruise remake? Um, Are you talking about the War of the Worlds? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Also known as Mars Attacks. Uh, as soon as I said the second time, I was like, "That's not right." Wow. Written by written by George Orwell, right? In 1984, yeah. I believe. No, it's oh. George Wells, I think, and then H.G. Orwell. Mm-hmm. Oh my lord! <laughs> you know, honestly, yeah, if you H- talk to Rich long enough about this, I don't <laughs> yeah. remember who did which. You know? Yeah. H.G. Yeah. Wells time is, is just a yes. It's H. Just a G. Wells is Mars Attacks, directed by Tim Burton. I do remember That's right. that film. Yes, yeah. That right. Uh, Produced by Michael Bay. Yes, that was, ah, yes. So the, yeah, the, 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 the only thing that the, saved yeah, that mean, movie for me probably yes. the 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 H.G. Wells Citizen Kane moment is is probably my yeah. my most signature moment. Uh, yeah. Of, yeah. Of, of yeah. richness. There's a lot of names. You know, I think Dan and was in the studio that day too. He was Dan. Yeah. If I remember correctly, so Dan we had, knew it was wrong, but for a moment couldn't really remember why it yeah. was wrong. Yeah, I think that was what he, it, something he, like that. He laughed at me, but he also could not prove I was wrong. Exactly, Com, two calm, <laughs> educated people. Yes, struggling yeah. to figure out who Orson Welles was. That was a great moment. Yes, yes, that was again one of our one of our classic moments that is that is preserved forever on whichever episode of the podcast that came up on. Yeah, not even well, I know. Which, if, that must have been an early one. Someday there'll be a scholar of the podcast that will oh, catalog yes. so, and, and, and sort out. Someday and, there'll be yeah. aliens, you know, going through, like, archival stuff. Like, what were humans? And they'll stumble upon the mashup. Ugh. And they'll be like, this, this is their, their intellectuals of the, you know, talking about their history. It'll be That's like Mars point. Attacks. No, we, really, we, we really should... Uh, you know, get an episode of the podcast on you know the next satellite or whatever thing that they beam into space. Oh, to, like oh, alongside the Beatles or whatever. Exactly. That like Veejer, exactly. yeah. Like I feel it, like that. That I mean, you know, that, us and Justin Bieber going out through the cosmos. Exactly. It's just a matter of like which episode to pick. Really, that's that's yeah, the that's, only hard no, that's part. A tricky of it. One. That's, no, you don't pick an episode. You can press it and then you put all of them on there. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh. Because then, because then the aliens will have hours of entertainment on their way here to conquer us. Exactly. Oh, of course, our luck, they'll get to when it gets to the point of like the Emmys or the Oscar trilogy. Oh, they'll that's stop. actually. And they'll be like, oh yeah, we can't save these people. Rich is now spinning us into the less happy memories of the mm-hmm. podcast. Yes. I mean, the Oscars trilogy seemed like a great idea. I still don't think it's that bad of it. I, th- I don't think the Oscar well, trilogy is Well, everyone else on the planet who and, listened to it disagrees right. with you. We might <laughs> we might love the work we did, but listeners... But that might be it sometimes. ...kind of voted with their feet on that one. I think it was um, only the third episode where we actually talked about the Oscars that was bad. I thought our discussion of Long <laughs> Island was good. And the, and Imagine... The, uh, whatever the first episode we did was good. But the third no, episode was no. like, Imagine any other movie trilogy okay. where the first two movies yeah. were not about what the movie was about. Yeah, Imagine Lord of the Wings that's the, where... That's the best part. leave the Shire until the third movie. We called it the Oscars trilogy and we didn't get to the Oscars until the third episode. Uh, well, I mean, we... we yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, it was, it was hey. our... Uh, uh, I, I still feel like those were quality episodes. You know what else wasn't smart? Oh, I Our think visit I to the game chateau. Mm. I am still astounded. I, I mean, again, maybe I was so busy with the tech and stuff that I just never noticed. I thought it was still like I thought it was a pretty good episode. Like I thought you were having a great time. Like oh, we I, had you a know, good until time. It's I feel just like terrible the, to listen to. The game was fun, but it was not good listening. And I was, I, I guess I was so focused on like all the tech and stuff that it's like, oh, it sounds good. You know, like technically sounds good. And I'm like, yeah. okay, must be good. Well, you also, even, like, you also, Rich, had to help me win. I mean, I'll admit, Shoot. I had a great deal of fun doing that where it was just like nonchalantly like, oh, here's something of like all the things in the world I could know a bunch about. 
you know, oh. here's Star Wars. And this is before the EU was destroyed, mm-hmm. so I actually knew things yeah. canonically. No, no, it was I, I was so out of my depth, you know, that, yes, that yeah. having you there really did help. Yes, and almost got us, you know, run out of town by the game show. You know what? If I do not care, yeah, if who's left around now? That's right. If exactly, and if I don't like Ewoks, I should be allowed to say that I don't care for Ewoks. I think it was more your relentless cheating at the game. Oh no, Patrick! There's there's no doubt. As soon as I said one bad thing about the Ewoks, they shut down on me. Mm. I'll say the Ewoks—they are on the good guy side, but. If the all of Endor had been incinerated with them, right. that would have been okay. That's right. dark. Like, if instead of Alderaan, it had been Endor that had been blasted, the, the galaxy would not have been a lesser place. Okay. Ewoks are like wow. vaguely cute bears, and that's about it. The nice thing is I'm not even have to do this work. We're just carrying all the water for me today, which no, I appreciate because I do not need the anti-Ewok emails coming to me. Remember, that is rich. <laughs> Send them uh, all to me. I will yell at you about liking Ewoks until the day I die. Mm. They well, step above what? Porgs? What are the penguin pogs. things? Yeah. Pogs. Pogs, pogs, whatever. I thought they were porgs. I know they are porgs. I was just messing with Rich. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so Yes, porgs. Porgs was correct, actually. You know, thinking about things that yes. went badly in the past, Patrick. Uh-huh. Maybe maybe we could rectify one of the great errors of the radio show. Is that my veto power? If no, oh, oh, I missed I for, the veto oh, I power. About the veto yeah. power. Yes, and oh, I have. And, ne- I, there's not been a day that's gone by oh, that I've not Rich forgotten the about the veto eight, power. Didn't Rich handle the magic eight ball. Yeah, yeah. We, I know magic eight ball app. That's yes. right, the app. Because you know, we're we, the millennials now, we got to get the technology right, I forgot, in there. I forgot about right. that. No, yes, the eight the ball magic, and the veto. Yeah. Those were those were great things. That was a that was a a. a cherished time for me of like whatever it was a game date changer. range but like for whatever date range it was where the eight ball and then I came had the veto power for like yeah. what three episodes maybe yeah until Nine Patrick episodes. yeah that, Patrick got upset pretty yeah. quickly with the veto yeah. power okay. <laughs> somebody could not handle me having an no. ounce of power no Okay, that that seems unduly harsh, and now like, and now like I'm the feeling, monarchy and now I'm, to the now I'm feeling the, less inclined to correct previous injustices. No, no, <laughs> like the 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 dominant monarchy over the the peasants who are begging for bread and for Wait. saying how the world works. It's like no, all Rich wanted was a crumb of bread, but it was too That's much. It. But we're gonna fix something different for you, Rich. We're gonna get in our okay. time machine. We're gonna head back to 2016. It was the last days of our radio show. Which is about to be reborn, wow. apparently, because the podcast is going to be broadcast on the radio somehow. I don't Supposedly, know. I'd be surprised yeah. how they fixed the whole not being able to get on the radio waves anymore, but that's up for them to figure well, out. Well, it's going to be on, like, they, the, the, the Cougar radio. Right. Not, oh, the website. Yeah, not yeah. real radio. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's... Yeah. But if, okay. if we... Well, it's still basically what we had. Yeah, if we get, yeah it's we basically left. what we had. If we get back at the time machine and we go back to 2016... <laughs> We need to fix the time machine. That's the, the time yeah. machine. That's, you didn't see, but I was doing like the fingers. That always, no, we didn't. That's the difference. Nor did the viewers. Hey. So, so, uh, thank you for doing it again. Now I'm definitely a year it. <laughs> real quickly, in late 2016, we did a final episode of the Radio Mashies. You might remember, Rich, the Mashies were like the best of awards at the end no, of every year. No, I don't remember what happened during the Mashies. I definitely don't recall so, who got Best Richard. There's a chance that in 2016, Rich got jobbed a little bit in the award category. That there were a bunch of categories or a bunch of awards that seemed like they were meant for Rich, but in great upsets went elsewhere. It seemed almost elsewhere. that somebody had made the category specifically for me to think they were about them. It was about him. Yeah, yeah. that suggests probably more planning than usually goes into this. But <laughs> be that as it may, Fair Patrick, enough. I think you and I have collected the the four awards that should have gone to Rich. Yes. And we would like now to reaward them. Hmm. Yes. We feel so, that, that it is time to correct a previous injustice. It's time to do it. So, Patrick, do you want to announce the first award? Or sh- shall I? Uh, you can go ahead because I'm not sure which one we're doing here first. Okay. So, the best new member of the mashup mm-hmm. crew for 2016 was given to the stop motion camera. Stoppy! Right. And it's, 
I, I appreciate your enthusiasm. I'll but, be honest. Looking back, I don't know if I should have fought that one as much. Yeah, I, I. But looking back, I feel somewhat bad. We gave the award for the best new member, not to an actual person in the studio, yes. but to a tiny piece of inanimate equipment. So now, to be fair, which one brought you more joy? Stop it! Well, it's 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 not about joy. We sh- the best new <laughs> member should have been more than joy. So now, Patrick. In 2022, six years later, and I apologize for this, Rich, six years later, six years too late. But Patrick, will you please announce the new winner of the 2016 Best New Member of the Mashup? Yes, I I think we need, can we we do like a drum roll of some kind? Because I feel this is important. Are you saying butter? Anyways, uh, so... For best yes. new member of, e- yes. of yes. even more matched Woo-hoo. up Woo-hoo. for 2022, yes, goes to Discord. Yes. Yay, Discord! Woo. Yay! Yes, we, we right. could not do now, it Rich, without Discord. It has no, been we a, could not. A, a Software crucial element they, of the show. No, Discord deserves major props. Yes, it's yes, also. It also an award that I'm Rich... I'm shocked that Audacity lost out to Discord. Well, that Rich could have won, but maybe we're saving it for something later because the next award on the agenda was... <laughs> because I can't win more than one. Was well, quote unquote... to be fair, I mean, Rich <laughs> yeah. is not really a new member of the show at this point. That's a fair point. So this next yeah. one should one. work better for Rich then, right? Yes. The award yes. in 2016 for the quote unquote best tech support went to... Website, and I don't even know what that means. I'm assuming Maybe like, do the I. Cougar like, Radio website. We literally it just the award just went in our notes to website. I have no idea what it meant, but it must have felt to Rich like an especially personal affront mm. that the best tech yeah. support would go to I don't know how generic the website. website. Yeah, because you didn't have a website then. No, we didn't. It's a, it was a strange award, but now Rich, yeah, now. We can correct I'll that. I'll be specific, too. We can correct it, though. Mm-hmm. Patrick? Yes, so the 2022 <laughs> award for best tech support goes, well, goes to We Transfer. Woo! Woo! Yay, we Transfer! Now, now, to be fair, it was going to go to Rich. Yes. But then we thought giving it to We, we Transfer sets up a potential sponsorship if they would like to sponsor the show. <coughs> right, exactly. If which Discord reminds me of another, we transfer, another yeah. rich memory. Yes. Which is his absolute failure to get any of the guests or sponsors that we've tasked him to get over the years. And we uh, we asked for many to be over fair, the years. How many of them can you remember? Oh, I'm boy. pretty sure uh, Tom Cruise was one, wasn't he? Yep. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise was on. You don't remember him? No, I do not recall. Scarlett, on the Scarlett show. Johansson was one. Oh, yeah. Scar Joe. Yep. 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 Most of the Avengers. Yep. I'm yep. sure a Hawkeye request was put in at some point. I'm pretty sure. I think we've. We oh, asked no. For Hawkeye Star- said yes, but I said we didn't have time for him. Oh, well, that's fair. Oh, that's no, that's kind of fair. Then now I feel less bad about giving out the award to. Yeah. yeah he actually contacted me like seven times or something, <laughs> and each time. I kind of said no. We, you know, mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. have nobody, and we figured that'd be better. Yeah, I can hear the increasing desperation in Hawkeye's voice. Yeah, I, it was like you know the shows just happen. I, there's got to be somebody who wants to talk to me, right? And I was like, no, unfortunately, sir, there isn't. Mm-hmm. Pew pew. I shoot arrows, you know. But yeah. But now, now, now is our chance to really correct something because in mm-hmm. 2016 we gave an award that was called the Richard Baldivin. Technical Achievement Award. Yes. Now, hearing this, one might think yes. that there's only one possible winner I, for the award Rich, since it was named after somebody. I entirely agree. And why it went to Kendra. Who did tech? It went to Kendra in 2016. It did. Yes. Kendra, who was not involved in the show for a bit at that point. Hmm. Hmm. Was she not really? I don't. Well, now there was because, a, yeah, I think there was a point where she did leave the show. Yeah, yeah, well, it's possible. I, because there was a point where when the Mashies happened, while well, I was at the at the. I can't remember now because there was a. Uh, well, I was, I was, there? Saying, I, was I was at the soundboard, but I do recall sitting next to you guys when we were doing mm-hmm. this. Yeah, I don't know, but somehow it went to Kendra. Yeah, but that yeah. doesn't mean 
that every year the Richard Baldwin Technical Achievement Award should be given. In fact, I think we should retitle it the Richard Baldwin Technical Excellence Award this year. Mm, yes, because I guess anybody can be technical. It doesn't mean they're good at it. Right. Patrick? Oh, yes. Is it time to announce the award? I believe so. <laughs> All right. So the, the 2022 Richard Baldwin Technical Achievement Award goes to... Me and Alan for figuring out how to use Discord and Audacity, which is truly an achievement. Woo-hoo. Now, I will... It's my I proudest award. Against this award. I do have contention against this award. Okay. In that one could argue you don't know how to use either of them from time to time. Mm, that's a fair I, point. I, I, it's, I, I, I don't... Is, I don't, I don't they, is it the award go? That I, you, can't a, and yet, with, you can't bicker with the awards. As as well mm. as I recall one time somebody sending me does seem 10% like, of the audio file. Does seem like sour grapes to complain about an award named after you. Yeah. Not I being mean, given to you every yeah. time I it's mean, given. Is the honor well, of well, having well, the award named after you not enough, Rich? Apparently not. Well, one could argue if it's named after me, I should get to choose who it goes to. Well, that's not how it works. No, that's does Oscar get to pick all of the winners? I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, exactly. Does Emmy? He doesn't? Oh. No, does Oscar doesn't have any voice at all. Right. Golden no. Globe's got... Yeah, no. Tony? Does Tony... Tony's got no say in things at all. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but there Tony was... bad taste. There was, Rich, one final award. Mm-hmm. And it, it should come at the end. It is the Perseverance Award. And in 2016, <laughs> the Perseverance Award, the person who most persevered, went to Kendra, who apparently won twice that year. Yes, she did. Indeed. Yeah, but that should be corrected. Nobody should get two awards. No, can't have that. No. Patrick. You, you, you get one or you get none. Exactly. That's an, that's an odd <laughs> distinction, but okay. So, yes, so so the Perseverance <laughs> Award, this was a tough category. This, yes, uh, indeed. Because originally, you know, the, the front runner for a long time was my laptop, both for its dodgy headphone slot and uh, yes. slowness. Uploading it did, transfer. It did persevere in being not, terrible. Which, had it not quit. Which literally required you know, perseverance. It, uh, yes. But then a, yeah. a dark horse came in, uh, which was Alan doing the show today while recovering from COVID. Which I suppose only one of those things, person, entities is still here. Your laptop being gone, I assume burned alive in a fire. No, no. This, this is the laptop still with the dodgy headphone slot. Oh, it just I think I think uh, Windows did an update that eventually fixed it because it started working again. But Patrick, there's a there's a problem there because mm-hmm. I've now won two awards. No, you've won one and a half, which is totally fine. Oh, OK. What? Fair enough. I was going to yeah. I was going to cede the Richard Baldwin Technical Achievement Award to you alone. No, 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 no. That doesn't seem right. OK, that doesn't seem right. All right. So I hope you feel rich as if we have. Rectified. I feel that at some point I should have been involved in the Massey de- Massey's decision making process. Mm. Yeah, it mm. feels like. Are you I sure feel- you, you weren't? I don't remember you being excluded necessarily. Yeah. I mean, I guess I should have actively tried to be more involved over the years because yeah. it seems like the wolves have gotten away from me. Possibly. So possibly. He, given that that wasn't really a gift for Rich, I now have a gift for him. I well, I, so, I have a gift too. Oh, okay. Do you want to money? Do you want to give your gift first, or shall I give mine My- first? My, well, mine is sort of a gift to both of you. How long is yours going to uh, take? I like how it's sort of a gift. We won't how take, long? This, will gift. Not, this will not take okay. long at all. Okay, let's go with because, your gift first then. Because one of the things people, of course, remember as a recurring segment was the Gotham quiz. Yes. Indeed. And there was some controversy about the final Gotham quiz that determined Rich no. as the victor. You mean the one in very, which... It was very straightforward and to the point, I won. So the one in which end. you... Asked the question at the beginning, it gave the answer away at the end, and yet the end had a different answer. Yes, yes. yes. So I thought it was. It was yes. I thought it would be only fair to revisit yes. those questions. Oh no, I have no idea what they were. It doesn't matter. So question okay. number one. The, see, Alan, you've already lost. Oh, you're right, you Rich. Trying to I'm think. Trying to think. <laughs> right, I'm going to just yeah. so, shut down the brain. Here was question one on the final Gotham quiz. True or false, Mm. Gotham experienced all-time lows in ratings in the second half of season four. I believe that was true. 
but I don't really it, remember. I don't. It know. was true. The okay. last four episodes of the season hit all-time series lows, with episode 86 dropping to a 1.94 rating, the single lowest rating out of all five seasons for an individual episode. Even Pantsless mm. couldn't, couldn't carry that show. Yeah. And then okay. there was the final question. Yes. Which is, which of the following is not true about the oh Gotham series finale? Ugh. A, it is also the series 100th episode. B, it is the lowest rated finale of the series. C, both A and B. D, neither A nor B. Oh my god, that just makes my head hurt. So what was the B. what was the answer? Well, Wait. see, here's the thing, Alan. Your dispute Man, was based on the claim that that question is inconsistent with the first question. Yes. However, the oh, first no, was question I wrong? was about the first question was about the lowest rated episode. This one was about the lowest rated finale. And the, thus did not contradict the question. The finale would have to be the lowest rated. No, it would not, because the finales always get a bump <gasps> up at the end of the season. No, but it was the lowest rated of the finales. Yes. Yeah. So, but you claimed, eight episodes, you claimed it could not be the lowest happens. rated of the finale. You claimed that that question contradicted the first one because it was the lowest rated the... episode. But that's not what the question asked, Alan. But it is. The question if, asked. Which if it is was the lowest, lowest rated, rated episode, it would be the lowest rated finale. Right, but among the five finales, you can have a lowest rated finale not be the lowest rated episode. For example, the but lowest the last rated episode. Finale, no, the oh. lowest rated finale was a two point one nine. This is this is not a gift at all, sir. No, it this is, is also not quick. It is a gift to Rich because it undisputably uh. proves. That Rich won well, the second Gotham quiz. Just like Rich is, I already won. Just like, are, just like, just like Rich is is disputing the Richard Baldwin Technical Achievement Award. I one hundred percent disagree. You agreed you with me on the podcast that I was correct, and Rich wins. I agree that, with Rich. He wins. Yes, Rich wins, but not without complaining. I always win. No, Rich, but, here's, not, but again, you have no, you have no basis to oh, complain because oh, the last will, question was about the I lowest rated complain. finale. No, and the season you, five finale not, is the lowest rated finale, not, but it is not uh, the lowest rated episode. Uh, and so the two right. questions are entirely consistent with each other. Incompatible thus, questions. Which is the undisputed victor of the which Gotham is, quiz. Which is, in your mind, the undisputed... Ex- I have not a better gift, an even better which gift wins. for you, Rich. Which wins? Yeah, which, since you're no mind, longer going to be... Since you're not going to be a regular anymore... You're going to kind of become a special recurring guest, like on a sitcom, Yay. right? No, like I was thinking some of the best characters are. So I, I wanted Rich to kind of try on some different jackets to see what kind of recurring guest star he wanted to be. Excellent. All right. So, Rich, option number one, do you want to be our rickety cricket? The what? I don't know what a rickety cricket is, but rickety that cricket. sounds fantastic. From Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Oh, jeez. I've never seen the show. Oh, yeah. yeah Rick, Rick, okay, well, then we'll cross Rickety. He has a pretty drastic decline. How I'm about you've you got a character from, from what we do in the shadows on there? I do not. No, okay. I was just wondering um, if you're going to feel like, Because be... I feel like you'll mellow. No, I went, I went to the internet and let them pick the best okay. recurring character. So I'm not, okay. this is not me trying to like, well, there might be another one on here that Patrick hasn't seen, but two of them. But most of you know. How about if riches are Newman? Oh, that's not a bad one. From Seinfeld, right? He's the wasn't he the mailman? He was the mailman. Yes, that was kind of Jerry's nemesis. He would always say Newman, Newman, right? Newman was always had to get him. Yeah, Mm. Balvin, Balvin. All right. So uh, maybe not the most sympathetic character. But, you know, yeah. maybe some, but a you character know, that... I mean, he seemed like a villain. Ri- yeah, I well, mean, I, he, I, I, I can definitely but, see... I could see Newman being a, a good choice for Rich. But, you know, Jerry... I mean, I could do Newman. Jerry was kind of an anti-hero anyway, right? So if you're Jerry's... If you're Jerry's, you know, opposite, that might put you on the side of good, actually. Well, it depends. See, but I don't, is, I don't know... Is, I, don't, I think there's just two villains. That's the thing. Is well, that's also the opposite, possible. Or is Newman just worse than Jerry? 
Yeah. Or his like he's just the anti villain essentially to Jerry of like yeah. or a is, different is, villain. Is right. Newman just not as bad as Jerry, but still bad? Yeah. Now Newman's he really at me bad compared to Jerry. Just in a different you know? way. Plus, he's I also mean, the I'm... guy that that screws up Jurassic Park, right? So. Oh, he well, he's the one that yeah that steals the uh, steals the, the code. Be fair, yeah. I feel like I would DNA, try to... and then he gets sprayed in the face by the big flappy right. dinosaur. Yes, it was the acid or whatever. The the yeah, it's the paralytic. I think isn't he paralyzed by it? I don't it's remember. The, the spit he just dinosaur. The spit. Rich is Rich is more sympathetic to Newman than I thought, but I've got a couple other ideas for you, Rich. Okay. All right. Did you watch Arrested Development? Oh, well, then Barry Zuckercorn's not going to hit home, probably. Which one is Barry Zuckercorn? I mean, I like corn. Um, Barry Zuckercorn is, oh, like the the little kid on the TikTok. Corn! Um, Barry Zuckercorn is played by the Fonz. Oh, that, that's, oh, no, that's right. Chachi is blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. (laughs) Who does a blah, Uh, blah. Who's the Fonz again? Um, Oh, okay, so we're going to move right past that. How about? Well, no, because he's in, he's in the Barry show, isn't he? You mean Henry Winkler? With Bill, H- yeah, that's it. I mean, I know the Fonz. I don't know hey. Corn Man. You okay. know the Fonz, having just asked who is the Fonz. Well, I meant the actor who plays. I know what the mm-hmm. Fonz looks like. Henry Winkler does not look at the Fonz anymore. Yeah, he still. Yeah, he looks like, like the Fonz. Like older Fonz, Fonz kind of aged up. Yeah. Yes, he looks like a much older Fonz. Yeah. Right, maybe, maybe Rich, somebody more fun then. How about Doug Judy from Brooklyn Nine Nine? You got to pick some shows that I've seen. Yeah, I was just saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, I, don't know what, okay. I don't know what you're thinking picking okay. all these shows. Rich, did, I, I picked, I literally did no work on my own except to go to the web and take the ones that the web said were the best known and funniest. You can't trust the web. So how, did you watch Friends? Occasionally. All right, so from Friends, they suggested Janice. Oh, oh, that's a tough one. I haven't watched enough to know who Janice is. That was Chandler's was girlfriend. Say, like, Joey. Super that annoying. Like, the, that had the really annoying voice. I mean, that's hurtful. I guess to say that my voice is annoying. Kind of like a Long Island accent kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, she, maybe. yeah, she did have... Yeah, I think it might have been a very... <coughs> yeah, I think so. All right, we're going to skip 30 Rock because I know Patrick didn't watch that. All right, finally then. I've only got one more for you guys who clearly need to pick up your sitcom game a little bit. Mm-hmm. How about Starburns from Community? Oh no, that that doesn't work. Okay, how about Leonard from Community? Leonard is closer. Leonard is closer. How about Gareth? Oh, Gareth is not bad. Yes, I could see Gareth. Who who by the way, stars in my all-time favorite episode when he marries his cousin. There's a yeah, that do yeah, <laughs> Gareth is Oh my is, god. Oh, such a good one. It's good. Well, I have something to look forward to then. Do you know that yeah. Gareth uh, did a little a little uh, happy birthday to Hope this past year. Oh, the cameo? Yeah, her roommate bought her. Apparently, Garrett comes relatively cool. cheap. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, just did Hope know who Gareth was? Has she seen Community? Oh, yeah. Like, she, okay. she and her roommate used to... <laughs> it wouldn't work too well. It's just random yeah, she, actor says, happy birthday. She and her, her roommate, I think, used to, like, like reenact the uh, the wedding Oh, episode wow. or like do do bits okay. from it you know okay oh that big of a fan of that there's a man who knows how to marry his cousin oh mm-hmm. such a good show such a good show <laughs> yeah so maybe leonard maybe gareth um i don't know i'm leaning gareth or newman i feel like that I mean, or maybe somewhere in yeah. in the venn diagram of gareth and newman is rich like okay. where they overlap yeah i like i feel like with newman especially because he's he, he quote unquote just gets up the hijinks because it's the, the nature of the show yeah. So it's easier to pick and choose bits of him. The thing is, Gareth is a very sympathetic character until his wedding, and then he's kind of a jerk, though. I feel like <laughs> I feel like for Rich, we need to leaven the Newman and the the Gareth with like a little Doug Judy kind of action, like just like in, like a little more fun, you know? He's he's on the wrong side of the law, but he's having a good time doing it. Mm-hmm. No. I don't know who Doug Judy is, so... Yeah, I unfortunately cannot agree nor disagree with you on this one. All right, well, that was that, that fell a little flat, but I've got something better if you're ready for the Richard quiz. 
I mean, I don't know if I'm ready for it even, but let's get to going. All right, so the way this quiz works... The enthusiasm for this is is impressive. There's one point per question. This is the most enthusiasm I've ever had. There's one what per question? One point per question. Okay. Whoever answers first through Mm. my headphones Mm. gets the first crack at it. But if they're wrong, it can be stolen. Oh, okay, so we're, we're like buzzing in. Yes, but just shout your answer. Well, don't shout, but, you know, just say your answer as soon as you know. Squeak your answer. So, wait a minute. So, are we, like, buzzing in, or are we just shouting our answer? You just shout your answer, but don't okay. shout. Just don't pronounce shout. your answer at a reasonable volume. No. Say your answer, oh. but don't say it. Now, it's a, tr- it's a tougher quiz, because we're ready to go to the next level. It's not multiple choice. Okay. It's fine. And, no you know, problems. I... When I was talking with the principal at Kellenberg Memorial, I know that he was really excited that what? Rich was getting involved with this, and he thought Wait. that Rich had a better than average chance of winning this. You, how did you even know why I went to I, high school? Did I tell you I hired a private detective? I, I don't want to put any pressure on you, Rich, but all <laughs> of Kellenberg Memorial will be listening to this, sitting on the edge of their seat. Hoping. I mean, at this point, I'm shocked if even their fellow student is going to win it. Wait, who was the principal? Is it the same? I I don't know, Rich. I don't know who freaking the principal is. But they're uh, they're they're very excited. Like, they're you may, very you may very have, excited. You may have peeked behind the curtain, there, Rich. <laughs> I was going to say my. Oh, okay. So I shouldn't say this because it might be a question. I've got nothing else oh. from your school. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, yeah. Well, okay. All right, let's now, get this well, quiz going. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? Yes. Question number one. What is Rich's middle name? Oh, okay. I mean. Oh, I like that you're, I? I, I like that you're pausing to see if Patrick remembers when we talked about it on the show. Giving Patrick well, an opportunity. I, of course, I was going to say, I would know my name. I think I should just well, be the guy who steals it if he doesn't well, get Rich it. Well, Rich should Patrick should know this one, too. We just talked about it. Yeah. There was a whole... We did a whole bit I on it. I believe it was... One, well, I was going to say, it should be included in the intro, even. Well, Patrick would have to go back and Francis. actually listen to old shows. Is it Francis? No. It starts with an A. We connected it, Aaron. Patrick, to a, a famous rock star from the 80s. Axel. He was a, it's Axel. He was a, he was a one-hit wonder. A one-hit wonder. Do you really not remember? That was a, right. it was only like two weeks ago. Rich, do you want to answer it? I don't remember this. Well, it's Aldo. Aldo. It's Aldo. Oh, that does right. kind of ring a bell. All right. <laughs> so since Rich is up, mm-hmm. we will let Patrick answer first because that might make it oh, more yeah. fun. Okay. All right, Patrick, say a listener wants to follow Rich on the Insta, which is short for Instagram. Mm-hmm. What is Rich's, this is a tricky one. What is Rich's handle? Oh, you know, that's a good question. Nope, uh, nope. You got to answer it immediately or you do not get credit uh, for looking it that's up. That's a good question. Uh, that's a very too late. good question. Uh, Rich, uh, it is your turn. Hang on, I'm your turn, Rich. It is your turn, Rich. I've got something caught in my throat. Uh, just hang on. <laughs> right. uh, I'm just going to uh, uh, I'm just going to hand just, this one just, right over to Rich. Just yes. a moment. This is be the ninja of cameras. Ninja of cameras. That's right. Oh, Rich got it. Sorry. Well, uh, uh, Patrick, what's my other alt account? You have another alt alt account? Is it Richard Baldwin? No, it's Trifocal Pride. It was my uh, company. Oh, that's right. Uh, That's right. That's right. Luckily, I did not write any Trifocal Prod questions. Mm. I haven't used it in a while. I I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that in a while. But yes, Ninja Ninja of Cameras. It was right on the tip of my tongue. I spent some. I actually spent some time. Looking through the the old trifocal production stuff. So, um, Patrick, Wait, I thought for Rich the, bo- gets the, oh, bonus. the bonus question. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, Rich has to answer it first because you're just going to okay. cheat. If Rich can answer this, it's impressive. Ah. Rich, what is your mm-hmm. Instagram bio? For which one? For the Ninja of Cameras. Oh, shoot my soft, squishy body. But leave my camera alone. Oh, so close. Aim for my soft, squishy body. Ah, but whoa, 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 whoa. leave Why the camera alone. Why did I get a chance to answer it? Because you can oh, read you weren't gonna and get it, it felt unfair. Yeah. All right, next question. That's her aim for my soft <laughs> and squishy body, but leave the camera alone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I totally knew ne- that. Next question. <laughs> Patrick, you go first. 
Okay. That was a deep dive, though. Thank you. This one's, I think, Rich, I think this one's deeper. Oh, my. And this one I remembered from way back when. <laughs> Patrick, who was Not. the uncle? Who was the uncle? Oh. That Rich was always filming back in the day. Oh, I just met him in New York a few weeks ago. Uh, Isn't that funny? I remember uncle, I used to. I, uncle, I, uncle Aldo. I would say this to Rich all the time. <laughs> I would be like, Rich, who is this oh. uncle? Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah, I'll give him. I want to say, give him two shots. Okay. The first oh, one's a really bad I answer. I know. I was right. I can't remember. Yep. I do remember. You have now. to go way back in Rich's yeah, Facebook no, profile to get yeah, to again, it. Though, like, unfortunately, he hasn't done that in a while. So yeah, you're not going to see him pop up in the feed. You're not going to get it. It took me ten minutes of. I knew it was back there somewhere. Yeah, again, yeah, no, you had to go yeah. to Trifocal, then you had to dig down it because again, he hasn't yeah. done that stuff in a while. Uncle Yo hasn't Uncle Yo. performed Uncle as Yo. such. Uncle That's Yo. right. All right, I have a couple more though. Where, okay. listen carefully, Patrick. I don't want any mm-hmm. complaints about the wording <laughs> of the question. Where, in addition to Misericordia, has Rich studied cinematography? Mm. <laughs> it's in another state than Misericordia. Mm. I was going to say, was it as a protege of H.G. Wells? I do not <laughs> believe I... so. Ah. So when, well, I dug him up in like kind of like a weekend at Bernie's yes, exactly. kind of thing. Weekend at HG's. <laughs> Patrick, weekend any, at Wells. Any idea where Rich also studied cinematography? No, no idea. Rich? Um, huh. Wait, you don't know? Well, I'm going to say Suffolk Community College, but I technically studied journalism. Well then somebody's lying on your Facebook page because number one, it calls Suffolk Community College Suffolk University. And it claims well, they, that they, you they, studied they cinematography. Camp, they have, I mean, and they might have changed it. Mm, sounds like somebody was, changed maybe, it, Rich. Yeah, it sounds like somebody's I don't know doctored, why I would have put... Somebody's kind of, there, yeah. uh, kind of burnishing the old resume there a little bit. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I guess. I don't even list that on my resume anymore. Like, what's the difference between journalism and cinematography? Well, really? you could argue uh, cinematography is really the focus on like using lenses and light. I think light. you should Journalism probably ask your son that question, Alan. I'm sure he'll have yeah. thoughts. Like yeah. you could argue that Bobby would understand how to make a film, but he wouldn't know how to make a news package potentially, or not that he didn't know, but he would be focused. Or sorry, on they'll, the have other. Right. they'll have thoughts. They'll have thoughts. Right. So, but yeah. my my point there, Rich, is that you yeah. clearly know the difference between journalism and cinematography. Yet, whoever yeah. put your Facebook profile together is struggling to tell the difference. Well, I don't like journalism, so maybe I just did that because I wanted to list it. So if I studied things in the past I didn't like, I can just call them different things and put them on my resume? Yeah. I mean, oh, life okay. is about lying, oh, you know, really, okay. when you come down to it. Excellent. Okay. All right. You know, education has taught me one thing is that you can lie about whatever you want. Ouch. Again, this podcast <laughs> brought to you by Misericordia <laughs> University. Yeah. Hey, oh my God! So, yeah. Hey, one of us was laid off quite a while ago. Yeah. I have less. I have less uh, loyalty to, to, to edu- education as a yeah. as a whole. All right, so Patrick, I'll give you three I bonus points. Say cinematography? Why? I don't know. It's I, what well, getting, it's okay, apparently well, I what get you three put bonus in. points. I didn't have to do anything for him. Honestly. For this, you have to name the year in which which was born. Oh, well, oh, we talked about this. Yep. Uh, we did? When? The more time you spend on your computer, the fewer the bonus points you get. Yeah, no, I, I'm not even trying on the computer. Okay. Cause, cause, take a guess. Uh, it is funny. Just, just take a guess. Because if you know this, you know half the password to most of the uh, rich, rich, uh, rich, MCAD computers. Rich, stop. You realize uh, that this will be broadcast to the public. I'm going to say Well, they've 19... changed it. Um, they, they... 19 is correct. 94. I... Incorrect. Yeah. By, I wish. By a not, it mean a bit younger. By a not insubstantial amount for somebody Rich's age. Yeah, unfortunately. Right? 1984. Yeah. Getting closer. Much closer. 83. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, getting farther away. 85. No. 86. No. 87. There you go. Nah. Hey, 1987, I get my bonus points. Woohoo! Really? Yeah. Bonus Is that a bonus points, points work bonus you can get points, 16 times? Bonus yes. Points, bonus <laughs> right, so finally, 
here is the final question. Okay. What religious views does Rich publicly profess? Oh, is this a Facebook question? I need to. I have to look this up. <laughs> Wait, no, no, do not. Nobody can look it up. I'm not. What do you up. think it is? What do you think it is, I'm Patrick? Gonna, I'm gonna say agnosticism. What? Agnosticism. No, Rich. What do you think it is? I either left it blank or it's Catholicism. Mm, it's actually Christian. Christian. Ah. I. Yeah. In my mind, they're the same thing. Even though I. I know well, that's, academically they're not. Well, I mean, there, there's a connection there for sure. So. Yeah, but I would because I made this Facebook when I was in high school, which was all Catholic school. So, well, I think you meant I definitely thought I was into uh, right. Christianity. Right. I think you um, think you made it though when you were at the Suffolk School, whatever it was. Well, who knows? Suffolk or probably even high school. Yeah, either back in Long Island, New Jersey. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I would feel bad about Long that, <laughs> but I knew Rich's middle name. I knew his handle. Yeah, I didn't know this the bio that I did not know. Well, to be fair though, like the bio, even I'd forget that a bio is even there. Mm-hmm. Like I, I don't know oh. why they even have it as an option because most people don't read it. I think honestly, if you quizzed me on my Facebook bio, I would be also. Yeah, like not that's the thing too is it. that it's not even like what I believe slash think or whatever it's what was i believe in thinking whenever i made my facebook because you never update that you forget that even exists right. most of the time because uh, facebook is you know what facebook is yeah it's yeah like it's not like i've got my work history listed on here so anyway you know, it's like rich is the winner I have won something that I could not possibly have lost. Mm. <laughs> Yay! Well, I mean, you could have lost if I paid better attention to, you know, things. <laughs> Me as a friend. Yes. yes. If, if, if I like, Patrick... I like, I like things better, but you could say that too. If Patrick cared <laughs> at all, it could have been yes, competitive. Indeed. Yes, Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a big picture kind of guy. Well, you're certainly not one. I and I am not in the big picture. Small details of like people's names and and you know their lives tend to escape big picture. If it makes you feel any better, Rich, I don't think Patrick knew my brother's name until like three years ago. (laughs) So it's Dennis. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) Aldo. (laughs) Yeah, actually, Aldo. Oh, Patrick, do you have anything else you want to you want to Well, I thought yeah, I mean we are we are kind of running long here, so I may I may have to abbreviate this a little bit. But we thought as as regular <laughs> listeners will know, Rich's deep love of the Star Wars extended universe. Nobody loves it more than Rich. Yes. And so we thought we'd do a a a quiz on oh God. the Star Wars Extended Universe. Because as Rich even said earlier on this show, that was when, you know, he cared and, you know, knew stuff. Right. He hates so everything, we've, man. We've got a quiz for him and Alan. <laughs> this show has driven the love out of anything. That, that I basically <laughs> found, I found a list online of loved or unloved Star Wars Universe characters. Okay. And so I thought... We could quiz as it. to, you know, your guess as to whether this is a loved or mm. unloved character. Oh, Ooh, okay. This is going to be a tough one for me because I don't love many of them. Yeah, well, this is this is about by the general fandom, not by you, but just kind of the general. No, I so understand. Of, of the general fandom, are these characters from, from or characters or events? Um, okay. Loved. Well, those on Vong have definitely got to be in there. What was that? The Yuzon Vong, that whole The Yuzon Vong section. are, in fact, here on the list, yes. Alan, yeah, are you familiar with who the to... Yuzon Vong are? I have no idea what you're talking about. They are among the whole, most deadly yeah. enemies. Well, Rich, I should let you explain. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, you've got the, I mean, <coughs> I don't, I don't well, say, do we want to talk about it? Because it might give it away. I don't know if, I don't know if you want to talk about it after we make the guess. Well, they are among the most deadly enemies ever created in the Expanded Universe. Deadly yeah, enemies. for kind of silly reasons, but yes. They are deeply Ooh, wait, wait, wait. villains who view technology as blasphemous. Mm. They're entirely organic. They're ships, well, and weapons, and armor. Well, that's my opinion. <gasps> yeah, so. They're entirely organic? 
So that yes. makes me mean they're kind of like vegans. So people definitely hate the Usan gong. Definitely hate. <sighs> people hate the gong. Hate the gong. Down with the gong. Ugh. So Alan says unloved. Rich, what do you say? Oh, absolutely unloved. One, because a uh, pain in the ass to pronounce. Hmm. That seems yes, petty. They, they are, in fact, unloved. Because one of the big deals is that, um, like, the 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 force doesn't... Well, uh, yes, the force does I not guess, work against them. Yeah, because, like, even though they're fully organic, and one of the canon things that they're midi-colloians is, like, this thing that's, you know, everywhere and everything. Nothing worse. Nothing worse. But, like, they should... Also, like, and they also have this silly thing where, like, they have, like, little gravitational holes that, like, la- they can catch, like, laser blasts and stuff. So, like, they're, they're just, like, this sort of, like, perfect, like, race of, like, oh, there's no way to kill them and everyone dies. No, the more you whatever. talk about them, the more I hate them, I will admit. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Excellent. How about <laughs> Luke Skywalker? Ooh. Well, uh, I'm pretty people... sure he's... But, the, but see, Rich, the people used to love him, but now they hate him. No. Oh, no, 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 still... no, Alan. This is not Luke Skywalker. This is Luke Skywalker. Wait, what? Excuse me? Wait, spell that? Who is L U U K E Skywalker. Oh. Is he some kind of clone? He's an evil clone grown oh, from people... the hand that Luke lost battling Darth Vader on Cloud City. People Which hate you, him. That's you that's add stupid. the extra yeah. you as a clever yeah. way of differentiating the two Lukes. It's not. Yeah, it's not clever that. and everyone it's stupid. That. It's got to be it's, hated. Yeah. It's it's Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Hated. Yeah. No one loves that. No one loves that. Yeah. No. Unfortunately, he is a beloved part of the. Yes. Really. He's wow. Beloved. Yeah. Oh, he's beloved. I don't even remember him that much, so I don't know yeah. if I read a bunch of stuff, or maybe he was just super funny or yep. something. Yep. They love. <laughs> they just... love him. Love it's him so lazy. Much. Americans love uh, their anti Maybe they just maybe people so, just like so, the idea of like an evil Luke. On, you know? on, on exactly. a similar vein. Yes. Uh, how do you think people feel about Booba Fett? Is uh, please tell me that's not a female Boba Fett. It is not. Okay. It is All right. That makes Boba me Fett feel clone with the extra O to designate it's a clone, like Luke has the extra U. So Booba okay. Fett. They have... I mean, I'm going to say everyone loves them because no, they have to hate it, Rich. I mean, it's it's such a stupid idea. But you're I mean, you're probably Luke right. Is a stupid idea. No, that's a fair point. But I feel like if they like, is Boba Fett like the opposite as well? Like a good? No, no. There's it's just a clone. So here's the thing. I'm going to go with Rich because everybody loves Boba Fett. So. These these mindless Star Wars enthusiasts will take just whatever gets shoved down their throats. So I'm going to say love. I'm going to go with unloved again. I'm going to be optimistic. Actually, but Rich, mm. you just talked me into loved. Oh, well, unfortunately, only... Rich, it is loved. Oh, it is loved. Like, uh, oh okay. my god, it's the anti Gotham quiz. It's completely loved. Yeah, it is. I was thinking because Boba Fett has a bunch of stuff in it, so they already had Boba Fett. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Mm. Yeah, they had like a whole bunch of the Bounty Hunters Guild stories, which are kind of cool. All right, I, so so right. here's an easy one. Yes. Yeah. Mount Sorrow. Mm. Is, is that a place yeah, or a person? A look- uh it's a sentient, clinically depressed mountain on Endor. Oh, hate. People don't want to deal with 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 mental health issues. Man, there's a couple of stories I must not have w- the like, the read, mountain cause... cries tears that can cure anything. It is demystifying Rich's knowledge of the extended universe. I'm, I'm disappointed you don't know about I, Mount Sorrow, Rich. At the game show, I'm disappointed Rich into myself. killed it, but you this know is... What it... yeah. Man. I'm just saying. They gotta hate I'm, it. Yeah, I'm... It's just a Krakoa ripoff, right? Well, Krakoa would be a ripoff of Mount... Well, I guess, no, you're talking about the original Krakoa, not the current Krakoa. Well, Krakoa has been around since, what, the mid-70s? Yeah, so this would be, yeah, because this is from the Ewoks comic. Oh, there you go. Um... It's a Deus Ex Machina thing too, so I'd probably say they don't love it. And what did, I bet you what they did you say, it out. Alan? I said don't love it. No, unfortunately, they love it. So you're both really wrong. wow. Yeah. Yep. I'll be honest. Sure. I'm losing any respect I had for people who read the, the EU, yeah. including me. Ouch! Yeah. <laughs> wow, there's a party gift for Rich. Uh, how yeah. about uh, Beldorion? Oh, Beldorion, sure. Yeah, well, that's a planet, right? No, it is not a planet. 
Oh, shit. Um, it, is, it is, in fact, a mm. hut that was trained as a Jedi. Oh! Oh! No, people Dorian. love yeah. people. Star Wars fans love that kind of stuff because it's stupid. Oh, so, yeah, say love I love it. that. That yeah. sounds so silly and stupid, but yeah. So you're both saying loved? Yeah. yeah. No, he is unloved. Oh, uh, shit. <coughs> this, is, this, is, this, is, this is going poorly for... Uh, for, uh, rich, so let's 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 give all this means is that I have better taste than the, the majority. We'll, we'll, I'd we'll, say, we'll, let, let's see, yeah. how about Kyle Katarn? Uh, is that like uh, Tawny Katane? No, he's the main protagonist in the Star Wars Dark Forces and Jedi Knight video games. Oh, yeah, uh, I think people would love him. Do people like those video, video games? Kind of I played them. All right, I'm gonna say people like him then. Yeah, I don't think they're the most popular ones, but I think he was kind of fun. Mm. Uh, was that um, was he a like a bounty hunter or was he a Jedi? No, he was a former Imperial soldier who then became a Jedi Knight. Yeah, this was on the um N sixty four. I played him on PC. Okay. I uh, have no idea what you guys are talking about. I don't. It was a good game. I don't know if anyone cares much with the character. I'll say love just to keep it. Alan, did you have did you have an answer? Um, I said loved, right? Because the you know it's a video game. I, I have you said really loved, loved, and Rich says loved as well. Oh, he's unloved. Ah, yeah, I could say because I, I guess nobody really cares about him because mm-hmm. like the game was fun, but like he, I'd doubt at that point they had like characters, mm-hmm. like he would have much to do. So. I just uh, how about Mara Jade? Mara, wow. oh, Rich hates Everyone Mara Jade, right? Oh wait, I'm wrong. No, I don't. Did I hate Mara Jade? I thought you loved Mara why, Jade. Why are you asking us if you hated Mara Jade? No, you, you but I thought know. at one point we had talked about this, and I couldn't. I feel remember. like I feel like we talked about Mara Jade as well. I think Rich is we right. Did. I think there was a specific thing I was annoyed by. I don't think it was... And I believe it was, it was my idea that oh, no, they, no, no. they should make it no, that no. Ray's parent was uh, Mara Jade, that the one I that, that they got pregnant with Ray was No, no, Mara no. Jade. They were going to make a show about her or something. I thought they retconned Mara Jade. Yeah. And that's that what it. upset Rich. So yeah, Rich yes, loves... Yes, yeah, she's, she's right. one of the ones that doesn't exist yet. So I'm going to... Rich... Oh, okay, yeah. So no, mm-hmm. Mara Jade's love. Rich loves it. So I, I mean, Rich is... Wait, we've learned Rich is wrong on the community I mean, so i'm going to say again unloved. yeah i seem to have a terrible read on the mm-hmm. community mm-hmm. as a whole i'm going to go unloved on this one then ah you are correct alan unloved really unloved. Dang. yes why well, did it doesn't say why does it uh oh i can tell you why yeah uh it's because i'm basically making everyone the opposite of what you say rich <laughs> oh <laughs> Um, Rich hadn't gotten any right, had he? No. No, none r- no Rich and except I got some use, right at the beginning. Except for the use on Vong. He got the use on Vong right. Everything else, he's got. Because he wrong. knew he couldn't lie about that one. Oh, so you because, fooled us. Just because I, I've made, I've made, yes, no. God, every, every I hate that you I so said much. was loved is actually unloved, I, th- I think. Um, oh, my God. Wait, but wait. So you are contradicting what you found or you are contradicting Rich? I'm no, confused. No, he was now. basically whatever I, a- I answered. Yeah. He would say is wrong. Exactly. So mm. if you, if so, if you and Rich both agreed, neither of you got points. If right. if you and Rich were different, Alan got the points. Interesting. So how yeah, many so did no, you have? Oh, I had like ten. Wow. I've got Skippy the droid. Oh, hate. Skippy. I don't. Hate. Well, I don't. I don't know what that 100% is. Hundred percent. That's another hate. one. It's, a, it's actually from a, a, a comic that Peter David wrote. So it's Skippy oh. the Skippy the droid I, is the uh, droid that blows up. And they take R two D two instead in Star Wars. Luke and his father. Uh. <laughs> and so Peter David w- wrote a story that revealed that Skippy the droid was a Jedi droid, and had a vision that if he went with them, the Empire would basically win. So he blew himself up so that they would take R two. Why didn't he just leave instead? I always did well, like Peter David. He has the vision as they're already there. Yeah, seems so. like a Jedi droid could, you know. Resist better, but so, yes, David, yeah, like no. his run on X Files wow. and Boba Fett are not loved. They are they are despised. 
Okay, so I was right when I said that they people yeah, hated we will, them. Yes. No, we will. Yeah, we will right. all. We use the Papa logic. God, I hate you. Yes. Yeah, the good. The, the good it, news it, is I won't I, remember any part, of the names in, in yeah, a day. The best part yeah. is that I had I had Rich actually doubting his knowledge of. The, oh, absolutely. Which I did not expect. I just expect Rich would see through this in a second. And uh, no, I just. <laughs> but Rich struggled to get some of the characters. Would lie. Even oh, yeah, no, I was, just lied. yeah, no, I just lied. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no. Yep. I mean, Mara Jade that's... was clearly gonna was gonna tip you off to the whole thing. That that was why I was like, why don't they love her? Like, yeah, cause no, because they do. She and she's, Luke is she's, married. She's, she's they probably, have a whole. I think the only reason that she's the number one sort of most loved part of the extended universe that that you know was lost is because they've brought Grand Admiral Grand Ad, Grand Admiral Thrawn over. So yeah, I, the, the Thrawn's gonna suck. I'm sorry. It's it's not going to well, match at all, like with the books. Well, or he was in Rebels. He already exists. Like they've already used him a bunch. I they can say that as many times as they so, want. Oh boy. They can call whoever they want. So, but yeah, but you know, people God. people do love Kyle Katarn. He he's another one that people want to see. The guy from the Jedi Knight video games. Yeah. That that yeah. Well, I, yeah, you. I, <laughs> At no point did I think you were making that up. I don't know why. At every yeah, point, I, don't I was know, like, I don't man, know, I, don't I am yeah. just, I'm just bad at this. Yep, nope, yep. So, so my my final <laughs> gift to you, Rich, <laughs> was anger and frustration. Was, was, was there you, you know, go, a complete facade, and and made you doubt your own knowledge of the EU. For somebody who just got and, you know proven that he was right about lying about another quiz, mm-hmm. to then immediately exactly lie exactly about and, the quiz, it would be in a court of law a pattern of behavior it, well, yeah. yeah yeah i believe they would call it double jeopardy no i was gonna say a dick move because it's a richard joke oh um, you know i was okay just as a, as a quick side note i i tried to look up famous richards like either in fiction or in real mm-hmm. life there's not a I lot mean, of that you're gonna get is like the the robin hood one well you know uh Wait, the no- king richard yeah yeah, King Richard. That's what I'm saying. Famous um, Richards in fiction and whatot would be like the Robin Hood one. There's Reed Richards. Well, that's a yeah, different. That's even, a different. I don't know if even I a, like. That's Reed a Richards. last name, though. I know. I know. Yeah, I was going for it. That's not on I Riker. Mean, the number one I mean, was on. one Patrick there's, would yeah, appreciate there's, though, there's, right? There's Dick Richard Grayson. Grayson should be right up there. Yeah. Number number one on Riker was Dick Grayson, but then yeah. immediately yeah. after that, Rich, you get things like Richard Belding. You know, from know. Save, oh, Saved by the Bell. Oh, no, no, Saved by the Bell. Sorry. Richard Mr. Belzer is who I'm thinking of. Right. Yeah. yeah, two very different characters. Yes. It turns out. You get Richie Rich and Dick Tracy. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Dick Tracy, fine. Richie Rich, I mean, that's an okay movie. Ricky the yeah, Wild Thing Vaughn. Yeah, it, it drops. Yeah, you drop off real quick. So if you yeah. go to playback.com and you ask for the most famous person named Rich, number one on their list is the Yankees relief pitcher, Goose Gossage. Ew. So literally, the most famous rich they could find was a guy He's that doesn't even use the name. Mm. Yeah. Wow. He's like, I got to get away from this ASAP. Right. Well, I'm doomed. Yeah, note to self, do not name any of my kids rich. Yeah. yeah. Clearly, that's a doomed name. Mm-hmm. Well, you do get Richard Gere. You get little Richard. You also get Richard Again, Simmons and Richard name. Nixon. Well, you know? Mm. Moby was apparently named Rich back in the oh, day yeah. before he became yeah. Moby. But like, again, that's a like everybody who's famous named Rich is name. like choosing yeah. to change their name. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I mean, Richie Rich is probably the one most people would recognize, like from kids. Probably so. I mean, as much as Patrick would want it to be Dick Grayson, I don't think it is. Or Dick Tracy. But even no, then, again, you could Dick argue. Grayson. But I'm just saying, even then, technically, they're not Richard Grayson. You know, yes, Dick is, you know... Uh, uh, no, he does occasionally go by word. Richard, but but he's more commonly known as, as Dick Grayson. Yeah. 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 But if it, it makes you feel any better, Rich, that's a really weak list, but the the list for Alan was even weaker. There's like... Uh, there's there's got just... Alan Parsons. There's... Ugh. Yuck. Are we they don't spell Alan's it right anyway. Wait, but I would say, are we counting Alan's that spell it differently than you? I think I feel like Dick that should be I mean it's a lot, if it's just like one L I think that's fine mm. like if it's just a yeah, change I don't, L I, to me I think it's got to be spelled Alan right Dick. yeah see I, th- yeah. I think Alan disagrees there's just I think it's got to oh. be spelled like me but even if it's not it's a weak list 
I, yeah, I think well, the Al rich Jewish list is in there. I guess. Yeah, but like that's one name. And is it really? Well, yes. But like, I mean, it's no still Richard, higher than mine. No Richard Belding, frankly. Yeah, no. No. Yeah. No presents in there, I guess. You've got to have a very fancy name or like a very odd name to get somebody who's going to be like a big name, like a sort of connected to yours, I think. Because so many people change it. Yeah, I guess so. So many people are like, oh, you've got to, you know, be unique. You know, like Moby. Like that's m- most right. ki- uh, parents are named that kid Moby from birth. You would hope. Nah. Well, I mean, maybe well, maybe well, they're yes. big Herman Melville fans. I was going to say, like a Moby Dick, which gets you to rich indirectly. Oh, that's true. I mean, in a way, yeah. Maybe that's where Moby yeah, comes know, from. The famous Patrick list isn't terrible. No, Patrick, I think, would be pretty good. You got Patrick Stewart. You got Patrick yeah, Swayze. Yeah, right off the bat. Pat- Patrick yeah, Swayze. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So maybe Patrick get Dempsey, lucky because Patrick Duffy, Patrick Ewing. Patrick Duffy. I forgot about that guy. Patrick Warburton. Yeah. Oh, that's getting a little... Yeah. Well, but what do you mean? He's great. Yeah, but you would think the rich would, the, the list would be deeper for Patrick. Patrick Henry. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Pat Sajak. Yeah, that's really getting the bottom of the barrel. Mm, Pat Buchanan. Uh, hang on on that bottom of the barrel. Yeah, are you allowed to have Pats, though? You're not a big Pat guy. I'm not a big... Neil Patrick Harris. What about Pat mm. from uh, Saturday Night Live? No. Mm. He sounded like Pat for a minute there. I, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ah, well... That was quite a celebration, I would say. Do you feel feel well-celebrated, Rich? I feel ready to leave. Properly fetid. Ouch. (laughs) I'm sure he's leaving completely satisfied with how we have celebrated him on today's show. 100%. If we've been celebrated. If we made missteps in the past, we have corrected them today. That's right. Indeed. Yes. So I guess the only thing left to do really is to thank Rich. Yes, thank you, Rich. For, oh, for you're all welcome. of his years on the show. We look forward to having you back in the studio when you can get yes. in from Jersey. Yes. Yes, indeed. Also, that list you sent me, I can't read a word on it. So Oh, the the picture of the schedule? Uh, yeah, I don't know what any of those words say. Not no, so okay. good. At all. 